Hello, I'm coming at you from my new filming room. It's so cute in here. If you missed my last video, I did kind of like a little transformation of what used to be my old dining room into my new filming room. I think it's it turned out so good. The video, on the other hand, I don't know. I feel like I could have shown more of the process, but it's fine. I'm an overthinker, whatever. So something about me, I love wearing sweatpants. Sweatpants and leggings are my everyday attire. I'm wearing sweatpants right now. <laughs> it's just so much more comfy to be wearing a cute shirt and sweatpants, especially when filming, but even just around the house. But as you can see, if you look close at these sweatpants, let me get up and show you. <laughs> they have a lot of peeling on them. Like, I don't know if you can see, but they have a lot of peeling on them. That's just from wearing them all the time and washing them over and over again. So that can only mean one thing. We need some new sweatpants. <laughs> I'm so guilty of finding an article of clothing that I love and then I wear it and wash it so much and it just gets worn out faster than it should because I wear it all the freaking time and I don't have anything to like change out. So that's where today's video comes in. It's kind of like an excuse to buy myself more sweatpants, but I've been needing some, especially if I wear them all the time and I get the money's worth out of them. That's all that matters. Two, three, four, I have Five pairs of sweatpants we're gonna try on. I always get super excited to buy clothes, but something about buying five pairs of sweatpants has got me geeking out. So without further ado, let's just get into the video of me trying on these sweatpants, finding the perfect pair for me. So how it's gonna go is I'm just going to grab a package, insert what I got, the price, everything like that, and then we're gonna open it together. I'm so freaking excited. I've been waiting like over a month to open all these. Also, I think one of these pairs of pants is like 12 or 15 dollars and then like the most expensive one was 60 dollars so i'm interested to see uh what the difference is and if it's like better quality and that's talking let's just get into it okay first one i grab is from hibbits well i think it's actually called hibbit <laughs> wait i gotta show you what it is before i open it Hibbit is like a sporting goods store if you don't know what that is and my sister actually worked there so she got the hookup for me a good discount I guess you could say I forgot to even mention all of these are gray except for the ones from Hibbit which are black so these are actually called the Nike men's sportswear club fleece joggers in the color black and in all of these I got a size extra large it says that these are $55 but I'm pretty sure I paid like 40 try not to cut anything inside I don't think I even own a pair of black sweatpants at the moment oh my gosh okay these are so cute they're Nike they're, they look they look actually kind of big. I don't know, maybe because they're men's. Honestly, it's probably just my body dysmorphia. I'll probably put them on and they'll be like too small. <laughs> Anyways, they look really cute. They have like the little Nike symbol and it's threaded. Okay, that's the best. I hate when Nike stuff has it ironed on because it'll just like come right off and you're paying for like literally the name. So it, I wanted to stay on there. They're a little wrinkly from being in the bag. All of these are in a size joggers, in a size, in the style jogger. So these are joggers. I just love that style of sweatpants. So. I guess we will try these on and I'll give you my review of them. So, black sweatpants from Hibbits, 40-ish dollars, let's try them on. I changed shirts to try these on because I'm literally sweating already and I kind of hate that you can't see, hold on. What? I think I'm just gonna have to show you the pants and not my, my head because I just don't have a wide angle, hold on. Okay, so here's the pants. They have the really pretty Nike symbol right there. Something I really love about these is that they don't like in the waistband, they have a really thick waistband. It ties on the inside, so you can just like tie it tight and then tie it on the inside and you can't see it. So that's pretty cool. I love how these fit. They're not too tight, but they're also like, you know, not too loose. They cup my butt pretty good. They have pockets, they have this pocket that has a button. The only thing that kind of took me off guard is the bottoms. The bottom, I have leg hair. <laughs> I need to shave bad. Hell, they're a little loose. Like they're not super cupped like like this. But they're, they're kind of loose. But honestly, I don't really mind. I think it's because these are for men, and I guess sometimes men might have like larger calves. I don't know. But all in all, I really like these pants, and I think I would give them like an 8 out of 10. Just because I'm not the hugest fan of black sweat pants. But they're really good quality. They have a little bit of fleece on the inside, but the outside is super cooling. They're honestly like super good quality. They're not too thick, but I like them a lot. And I feel like they're gonna keep their shape and not make me feel self-conscious. I really like them, but let's move on to uh, sweatpants too. Let's see. Um, the next bag is from Target. Size extra large. They're women's. Um, you know, they had like this little cuff bottom on them. They were $15. 
and yeah all the reviews say they were great so we're gonna see what see what i think i guess okay so right off the bat they don't hold their shape nearly as good as those did but so that gives me the indication that they're not a stick which will be like good during the summertime I, I don't really know how i feel about the waistband because i can feel the string in there so i hope that the string doesn't come out because <laughs> sometimes you know that happens but anyways yes these are super cute they feel really good quality i don't the gray color you know there's a difference between the light gray and like the heather gray i think this is kind of like a mix between the light gray and heather gray gray stuff hands from target let's try them on Okay, so sweatpants number two, these are from Target. They're actually a little bit tighter in the legs, especially in the ankles. They're a lot tighter, but these are women's. I think they're juniors, actually. I don't know. But for a tall girl, they are a little bit short. I don't mind it because I do wear high top Converse a lot. So, you know, it's kind of just one of your preferences. The waistband is not as good quality as the previous Nike ones, which is okay. Like, it has this really pretty tie right here. I know some people hate when the tie is a different color than the bottoms, but I don't really mind it just because I do wear white tops a lot, so it's whatever. These have pockets as well, which I really appreciate. They're a pretty gray color. They are not as thick as the Nike ones that I just tried on. They are thinner, so you can see like more of my like cellulite and stuff if you really look. Sorry, every freaking truck has to drive by today. Everybody's mowing their lawn. Oh, no, that's not a truck, that's a tractor. <laughs> but they are a little bit tighter if you don't like a tight fitting sweatpants. They might, these might not be for you, or you might need to size up a little bit, but I think I'm gonna get these like a seven. I don't like them as much as the black Nike ones, but they're still cute, I'm gonna wear them. But I think, I think we have some better ones, okay. So, moving on to the third pair of sweatpants. Okay, so what's next? Uh, American Eagle. So these are called the AE Fleece Slim Boyfriend Jogger. They're in the heather gray, but they looked pretty light, so I think they'll be okay. And they were actually $28 on sale. I'm not sure if I had like a coupon or they were just like on clearance or on sale or something, but yeah, so let's open this bad boy. <laughs> okay, I don't know how I feel about these because look at the bottom. It doesn't really cuff in, it's just straight. Maybe that's why they're called boyfriend, because you know, boyfriend jeans kind of just like go straight down. But boyfriend joggers, they don't really cuff. Like, look at this, look at this cuff compared to this cuff. I don't know how they'll look on, but we just gotta do it to them. American Eagle jeans, size so extra large. Jeans, American Eagle sweatpants. And uh, yeah, let's try them on. Whoa. I just realized that I have been forgetting to do the black transition. <laughs> so uh, yeah, we're, doing, we're starting it for the third one. They're still mowing, so I'm sorry if you can hear that. It's really hot in here because it's like 80 degrees today. Anyways, there's the third pair of sweatpants. These are from American Eagle. And just as I suspected, they are kind of loose, especially in the bottom. Like they're really loose. They're not exactly jogger sweatpants. These are definitely gonna be for like around the house wear because I'm just not the biggest fan of this style of sweatpant on me. Kind of thin, but they're super soft. They have pockets. Um, they have the little white tie as well. But I like this band a lot better because you can tell that the string is actually sewed into the band. Unlike the Target ones, I think the I think the band was just like free flowing in the waistband. But you can tell that the string is like sewed in there. I think I'm gonna give these an eight out of 10 just because the waistband is super cute and it kind of outweighs the last waistband, but I'm not the hugest fan of the <laughs> of the legs being very open. And these are from American Eagle, so you are paying for the name. They are good quality, but I just wish the bottoms were a little bit tighter and they're more jogger-like and less actual sweatpant-like, so. I like these. They're definitely going to be a more around the house kind of thing. Okay, moving on to the fourth pair. Yeah, four. Okay. Moving on to Rue 21. I don't know. Sometimes I think that's a southern store, but I don't think it is. I think it's everywhere in the United States at least. So these are called the light gray cozy boyfriend joggers. I guess I just like disregarded the whole boyfriend jogger thing and thought they would be regular. But I don't think that this one is going to be as open as the previous ones, like in the bottom leg because I'm pretty sure these are actually the joggers that I have because I got the ones I have on from Route 21 and I thought that these were the same thing, but I guess we just gotta see. Every other pair of joggers has came in this own thing of plastic inside the bag, but these are just straight in the bag, which I appreciate because 
you know, less plastic. All right, uh, yeah, looking at these, definitely not as open at the end as the American Eagle ones were, even though they said they were both boyfriend ones. And I think these are the ones I have because it has the thick waistband. I love the thick waistband, um, very cute color, but you can just tell, you know, the wear on mine <laughs> that I have on compared to these. I don't know, it might not be the same one because I actually got these in store a long time ago when they might have changed the style. It happens. They feel really good quality, like they feel um, plush. I'm gonna save my opinions for trying them on. Let's do it. Moving on to my old stomping grounds. These are from Rue 21. Rue 21 was actually my first retail job and I loved it. That was the only job that I didn't actually quit from because they shut down after like eight months of working there. They shut down because I guess they went bankrupt or something, but Anyways, they're still up and at it in other places, just not in my town or city or state. Anyways, sweatpants, here they are. You know how I was saying earlier, I think these are the same ones that I had that I bought a long time ago. Yes, they are, and they are so comfortable. They are the boyfriend style too, but you can tell at the bottom they are a little bit tighter than the American Eagle ones, but they're not super tight either like the Target ones. I literally love these sweatpants. It's just something about the style. This, and these are, I think, the cheapest ones. These were $13, which is like crazy. They cut the butt good. They're a little thicker than the previous ones I tried on because they, do, they don't show cellulite. All of these have had pockets so far, which is a win in my book. The waistband is super thick, and once again, the string is actually sewed into the waistband, so it's not gonna be like moving around in there. The strings match the sweatpants which I guess I never noticed which my, with my other ones, but they're great and they match. I love these sweatpants. I guess I'm just biased because these are the ones I've been wearing, you know, for months and months and months, but they're cute and I can't wait to wear these and alter them out with my other Rue 21 sweatpants. I think it says that these are $20, but I got them for their 13 on sale. I'm gonna give them a nine and a half. A nine and a half out of 10. I love these sweatpants. They're literally my, my favorite I've tried on so far. And I like them a lot. They make me feel really, Confident. Okay, last but certainly not least, and certainly the most expensive are from Urban Outfitters. I have ordered stuff on Urban Outfitters one time before, and I got a big, huge sweatshirt that I wear all the time. I think these were like $60, which isn't like horrible, I guess, for sweatpants, but it is pretty expensive, so let's open them. Okay, so these are the Nike Sportwear Club Jogger Pants. I'm pretty sure these are the same exact pants as the Hibbit ones that I tried on first. And it's, <laughs> this tag right here literally says $55, but on the website they were 60, so they'd be hiking up the price, but that's just what Urban Outfitters does. Let's open them. This is such a perfect color. If you have your preferences on stuff like this, you know, like some people won't, might not be able to tell the difference between grays, but I definitely can. And I don't know, I just love this color gray. It has the Nike thing on it. It is threaded in there, which I really appreciate. It has a little pocket in the back. I think these are definitely the same pants. That just paid like $20 extra for getting them on Urban, but it's whatever. Love at the bottom there. It doesn't seem like it's gonna be super tight, but it also, looks pretty sturdy. These in the first pair definitely hold their shape a lot more than the other ones, but I think just, I just think it's because they're thicker. But yeah, this is the last pair of sweatpants from Urban Outfitters. So let's try them on and then we'll do the final review. Woo. <laughs> okay, so last up we have Urban Outfitters Nike sweatpants. And my inkling was right. These are the same exact stuff hands from Hibbits, but just in the color gray. So let's uh, let's go over them. I love this waistband. It's so thick. It has the little ties, tie it, and nothing supposed to be showing. It has pockets. These are thick, but not too thick. The bottoms, they're a little bit loose, but not too loose. And as I've tried these on, I think I prefer this style. Let me explain. I don't like them to be as loose as the American Eagle ones, but I don't like them to be as tight as the Target ones. So these two Nike ones and the ones from Rue 21 were my favorite ankle tightness, I guess. They're very cute. They grip the butt good. It's always a test, right? Um, they don't show too much of the fupa. Um, they have a little pocket in the back. Nike signs on the side. I love these. I think so far that these and the Rue 21 ones are my favorite. I don't know, I just love this color of gray. I love how they fit. They make me feel confident. They're not too tight. They're super good quality. I will say, you know, these are the most expensive and I think they feel the best out of all of them. I mean, these and the black ones that turn on first are pretty much the same thing, but 
<laughs> just to make me feel better for spending $60 on them. I think they're pretty good quality and probably one of the best quality out of the ones that I tried on today. I love these. I love how thick they are and they hold me in. They're so cute. I mean, I hate that I am just now opening them when it's going to be like the hottest time of the year, but most places you go into have air conditioning. So like, I just got to survive the walk to and from and of course if I go outside or like to the park or on a hike or something I'm not gonna wear sweatpants. You just gotta have a balance and look at the weather and know what to wear when. Okay anyways I just wanted to come on here and like give a little final review. I'm still wearing the ones from Urban Outfitters. I am obsessed with these. Now that I'm looking at myself I am in need of a tan like I'm so pale. Honestly it's probably time to whip out that self tan and just do the damn thing. I can't tan in like the real light. Not only is it dangerous, but I just have really, really pale skin and I just don't really, I don't tan. Okay, so let me try to remember what I said. I'll put what it actually is right here. I think coming in last place and fifth place was a seven out of 10. And I'm pretty sure it was the ones from Target, I think. I think third and fourth are tied. And I'm pretty sure it's the black Nike ones from Hibbit. And then also eight out of 10 were the American Eagle ones. And then second place were the Rue 21 ones, which I gave an a nine and a half out of ten and then I think coming in first place are the Urban Outfitter ones that I'm going to give a ten out of ten. If you made it this far in the video thank you so so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed seeing me refill my sweatpant addiction or I guess fulfill my sweatpant addiction. I literally have like before this I had like two pairs of Walmart sweatpants and number 21 ones that I just like constantly uh, would wear and wash wear and wash. But now I have five more pairs. All in all, I'm super happy to find the perfect sweatpants, the perfect pair of sweatpants for me. I hope you enjoyed my video and I and I hope I inspired you to go find your perfect pair of whatever it is because we all have our niches. We all have the things we love to wear and feel most confident in. Mine is gray sweatpants. I love you guys so, so much. I will link all of this stuff down below if you wanna go check it out for yourself. And yeah, I guess until next time, I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.